Hi everybody, my name is Pixie, and if you have a question, please feel free to ask your teachers who are going to walk around the whole time, and they're going to give you suggestions because they're listening to the instructions at the same time. The teachers um, in, in there are all my helpers because I'm not there. So if, the, if I say, okay, do it this way, and they're walking around and they see that you're scribbling, that's not going to be the same thing. So they might walk up to you and make a suggestion. Try it this way, like, like Pixie said, okay? So teachers are always walking around giving suggestions, right? Supporting you in understanding, okay? Because it's the first time you've done it. So we have two paintbrushes, big and little. We'll just call them that. Okay, big, big one is soft. They're both soft. And sometimes we paint with the tip of the paintbrush, hold it like a pencil. And sometimes we hold it like this, especially the little one, and, may, and use the side of the paintbrush. So I, I actually like try to hold it flat. Watch this, look. Like I am literally like flat. I'm flat trying to make it. I'm not holding like a pencil. That would scratch all the paint. I'm kind of peanut buttering it all like that. Okay. So we're gonna use the uh, small paintbrush first and we're gonna do the eye. We're only gonna do half of the uh, inside of the eye at a time, just half. That's because this is acrylic paint. And as soon as we put the paint on real thin, you know, thin and flatten out the paint, um, all of a sudden it starts to look see-through. That's not what I'm saying. Um, we, we paint it thin, it starts to evaporate. The air steals all of our water out of our paint. So then we have to start painting faster. So we can only do this side and do it while it's wet. Then we clean our paintbrush with a paper towel and then we do this other side the same way. So since this side is our first side, it'll probably be our ugly side, okay? And we're gonna, we're gonna paint outside the lines a little bit on the top and the bottom right here. We're probably gonna go above the line and below the eye, but you know why? Because after the painting is over, when we're done and we're all done with all of this, we go back with black paint, not till the end because it'll make all your colors look gray if you put black in your paintbrush now. So, and then we will cut, we will cut off all those ugly little marks and fix the edge of our painting with black paint. See how you can't see my silver Sharpie anymore? You can kind of see it, but I covered it over with black paint at the end he has a black eyelid, okay? So we're gonna paint the inside of his eye first. Oh, and this little, um, the snake eye, they have a slit like a cat. Um, you might get paint on it, but at the end, we can get black paint and fix it, okay? But not till the end. Otherwise, that little bit of black paint in your paintbrush will make all your other colors look gray. So you guys ready? Okay, that was a whole bunch of talking. So you don't know how to paint. And I'm very excited for that because if you don't know how to paint, watching it happen is so exciting because you watch it happen. So the magic of paint, let me get this back up there, is not who cares that I could put white paint on there or yellow paint or the dark orange paint. Nobody cares. The magic is I get dark orange paint in this corner, and then I scribble it up, down, up, down, up, down, and I'm running out of paint, and the yellow paint is actually eating the red, and it disappears, and I run out of orange paint until it's all gone. Watch this, what if I did the same thing with yellow? I get very yellow paint, like this, right in the middle, and then I go, oh, I push it closer to the white, and closer to the white, and I'm trying to run out of paint. I do not get more yellow paint. It's running out, it's in my paintbrush, and I'm just, it's running out, it's complete, it's almost gone, and then I ran out, and it's just white. It's a trick. There are not lines. We're trying to get rid of any, if there's lines, we made a mistake. Two colors going like this and just making a, a line like a flag is bad. I actually want when two colors come together, I want to make sure they disappear into each other so you can't see the line, okay? So we let one color disappear into another color. So who's ready? Okay, so these are the colors of our eyeball, right? Where is it? White, yellow, 
and red. So we're going to paint it white first, then we put yellow, and then we put orange. But the yellow is going to disappear inside the yellow. I'm, the yellow is going to disappear inside the white. It's like magic. Watch this. But we need our white paint first. So open your white paint. Pop. Oh, ooh, it's in the lid. Careful. Mine must have tipped over inside the bag. Now you get it. You get your get white and open it. Okay, and we're going to outline the inside of the eye, just this half, but there's a trick for outlining and, and it will help you stay inside the lines. But watch this, I'll show you. So this is a little paintbrush, so we're just gonna stab the white really hard because she can only pick up so much paint. You don't have to worry. So you just poke, I'll show you. I'll do it so you can see it, because my table's over here. But I go like this and I go, poke, what? It, that's all she can hold, so don't worry. You just go, poke, okay, I got white paint. Now you do it. <gasps> Ooh, you got white paint. I know, just stab it, it doesn't matter, right? Now watch this. I'm gonna paint like this, and I'm gonna try to outline this little shape, but I open my, I smash my paintbrush onto the canvas and it goes, poke, right? But I only stare at one hair of the paintbrush. I don't scribble. That's for crayons and color pencils and markers where one line of color comes out at a time. This is thick, like peanut butter or frosting. Blah! And we're gonna just push our paintbrush like a bulldozer. I'll show you, watch this. So I'm gonna go and I lit, the whole eye is white. So I don't care that I land in the eye. So I land in the eye, I go smash! Oh, my paintbrush opened. Watch this. And I go smash, oh, I'm sne and I can sneak up. Sneak, sneak, oh, one hair is touching. Now I'm gonna push, push my paintbrush. Push, and a bead of paint will squish out the top. I'm only staring at that top. The very tip top of my paintbrush makes a bead of paint. Ta-da! Look at the top, I don't care what the bottom does, but look at the top, how straight that is. Did I scribble? No. So just make a perfectly smooth, straight line. Smash! Now you do it. And you get the paint and your paintbrush goes boop. And then you land in the eye and sneak up to the Sharpie and push. Do not scribble. No. Just push. Okay? Now we get more white paint. Step! To make another line. Now let's do it right along this, uh, this line right here. So I'm going to smash, smash. And now I can sneak up. Oh, I can see the one hair that's touching it. It's just one hair. And I push that one hair. Push, 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 push. I'm running out of paint. Oh, it got dry. I'm just going to get more paint. Stab. Do it again. So it's nice and thick. And cut the eye in half right there. Whoop. Now you do it. But you see how, who thinks it's better when the paint is thick? Isn't the line smoother? When you run out of paint, it's like all see-through and rough. Oh, it's better when the paint is thick. Now let's do the bottom line. Stab with the white paint. Okay, now I have to weird, weird. I have to look under my paintbrush so I go smash so I stay in the white. And I'm staring, still staring at only one hair in my eye oh, ran out. Ew. I'm just going to give up and go home. No, I just get more paint. And now, because when it's thicker, it's smoother. Oh, so much better. Right? Who got a smooth line? Not at first, because you were guessing, and you were like, what is she talking about? Then when you see that it's true, you're like, that's how they get straight, smooth lines. Now I get it. One hair in the paintbrush goes boop, and we stare at that one hair goes push, like a bulldozer. You know how a bulldozer pushes sand, and then on either side there'd be a pile of sand? That's what it's doing. Okay, now we're going to fill it in with white paint. But I, 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 cause I want to cover up this black, but can we use, I'm going to hold it like a magic wand and try to just paint it so it'll be smoother. The tip of my paintbrush will scratch the paint back off in a weird way. So I just get white paint and I'm just going to go, hey, look at those lines. What do those lines stop me from doing? 
going outside the lines. It's a human thing. As soon as you outline something, you don't go outside the lines. It's totally true. So wait, can you use the side of your paintbrush? Because this is how we put the yellow on the same way. So practice with your white paint. Look at this giant glob of white. But I smooth it, smooth it. And then if it's all rough, can I go back and smooth it more? And it's kind of like peanut buttering it on, smoothing. This, remember this when I went like this and I said the side of the paintbrush was soft? It's true. It's softer than the, oh, I'm running out of paint. It's not slippery anymore. More paint. Okay, that's all rough. Now I'm gonna go back and smooth the whole thing. I don't like it. I want mine smoother. So I'm gonna go back and go in big, long strokes for smoothing, smooth, smoothing, smooth, up and down. This is just for texture, so his eye looks shiny and smooth. I'm just flattening and smoothing my paint. Oh, why are we doing this? For the texture. We don't want his eye to look furry with the little scribbles. So after I'm done making it white, now I'm using the side of my paintbrush to flatten the paint and make it look smooth. And I did it slow because the side of my paintbrush is doing it, which is trickier. Up, down, up, down, smoothy, smooth, smoothy, smooth, 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 smooth. Oh, look at that black showing. Okay, let me smooth it some more. Smoothing. Smoothing, smooth. oh, too hard and it scratches it back off too. Who got it smooth? Did you go back and smooth it? Who wants to try smoothing it with your finger? With the, not your fingertip, the bones on the end, but maybe the flat part of your finger? Oh, oh my gosh, that is smoother. Oh, I went outside the lines a little bit. Oh, that's okay, remember? I'm gonna go back when the painting's over and smooth the black back. Smooth it with your finger, see if it's true. It's true, okay. Oh, there's paint on my finger. So, swipe it off on a napkin. Did you smooth it? Who smoothed it with their finger? Nice, nice and smooth. Okay, now we need yellow and we have to hurry. what did we just do? We made our paint thin, which means she's gonna dry. We need white's help to make yellow disappear. The, ye the white is gonna eat up all of our, uh, cause how many color values do you need for 3D? We want our painting to be 3D. So we need very yellow. That's when we first put the yellow. Then we'll run out of yellow and it'll look very thin. And then by the time we get back to the pupil in his eye, we've completely ran out of yellow on purpose. Okay, you ready? So I'm gonna get my yellow and pop it open, pop. And my paintbrush is all dirty and I don't care cause we're gonna put yellow on it anyway and it'll just break. So I'm gonna get a huge scoop of yellow. Look at mine. <laughs> Wait, it's dripping. Okay, careful, <laughs> that was spastic. Okay. And I'm gonna cut, look at where my yellow is. It's halfway inside his eye. So everybody watch. I'm gonna go like this and draw, just wipe off. Everybody look up, look up. Wipe off your yellow right here. Ew, okay. And then make it very yellow, right? There. And I'm using the side of my paintbrush. <gasps> Drop it off. Near the pupil, near the corner, near the corner of his eye. Now you do it, quickly. Why, why am I rushing you? Our white paint is drying. Hurry. Just drop it off like a boogie. Get off my paintbrush, yellow. Okay, now watch. Now I'm gonna scribble it up and down and try to get closer and closer to the, to the eyeball, right there in the middle. And I'm gonna run out of white. Why? I mean, run out of yellow, watch this. So I go up, down, up, down, up. Oh, I'm running out of yellow. I'm running, I don't even care. Don't stop, I'm running out of yellow. It's disappearing, look it, it's pure white. I ran out. Oh, <gasps> ew, I have stripes. Hold on, hold on, let me do it with my finger after. 
Oh, my finger's way more smooth. Oh, it's getting rid of all the stripes. <gasps> Look it, I went very yellow. Not very yellow, running out of yellow. I totally ran out of yellow and now it's pure white. It's 3D. Dark yellow, medium yellow, run out of yellow on purpose. But look, I went outside the lines a little bit when, you know, when I was going up and down. But I'm going to fix it at the end with the blick, but not right now. Oh, who did it? Who, who has dark yellow in the corner? Is it the darker? And then by the time you got to the pupil, was it almost white? That is 3D painting. Now watch this dirty paintbrush. Let's go get orange. Oh my God, this orange, she practically looks red. She's so orange. I mean, red orange, like fire. Because it's a dragon. Open the red orange. Ooh, okay. We don't need very much, but we're gonna stab it. And we're gonna make it very, 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 very orange in the corner because it's fire. And then we'll make it disappear inside of our yellow. So we stab the orange, right? Cause that's what we do with paint. Get the most amount of paint on your paintbrush. And then, okay, it's just a little triangle in the corner, like an ice cream cone, right? And it's starting to look weird cause it went outside the lines, but I'm gonna put it in fill. Okay, just try to get it as orange as you can. I'm using the side of my paintbrush again. Look what happens with the tip of my paintbrush. Let me show you. Scratch, oh! The tip of my paintbrush took off the paint. Okay, go back with the side of the paintbrush and put it back on. The side of the paintbrush is buttery smooth. Who needs more orange? Did you get enough orange? Did yours turn, I want, a spe I want more. Mine didn't change. I'm, I'm gonna get more, stab! Okay, I'm gonna put more. Oh, that is way more dark. All right. Okay. Well, look at where orange and yellow meet. It looks like a line. That's not what fire looks like. You know what we need to do? We need orange to disappear inside of our wa yellow. Watch this. Everybody pause and look up. Stop what you're doing. Watch what I'm doing. Everybody pause. Stop painting. I can see you, so please stop painting. Stop painting, please. Everyone stop painting. Okay, thank you. Now I'm gonna go like this and go aside of my paintbrush and go, oh, I'm going into the orange. But look, it's misty, misty, invisible orange. Oh, dirty up the yellow. Oh, 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 so you can't see the line. Wait, I'm going back and doing it with my finger. Look at all those ugly lines. Up, down, oh, smooth orange. Then the orange is disappearing inside of my yellow. Keep going, keep going. I ran out of orange. <gasps> so good. There's no line, cause I blurred the line. Wait, look it, it's blurry. But go to the, all the way to the top of the eye, all the way to the bottom of the eye. If you don't do the middle, because that you'll be able to see the weird edges. So go all the way up. What if you leave the eye? That's okay. We're going to cover that down, up, down. <gasps> Very orange in the corner, right? Then it turns orangey yellow and then it literally disappears inside the yellow. Who did it? Did you make it disappear? Are you holding it by the side? Like everybody pause and look up. I'm using the side of my paintbrush so I can butter it on. And then how many pokes of yellow do you get? We only did one. Okay, you're making it all yellow would be wrong, right? We're not painting it yellow. And then I use my finger for making it smooth and buttery. Okay, now we click, um, teachers walk around because I still see people putting yellow on their paintbrush. They're a whole step behind and their whole eyeball turned yellow. So now I'm gonna get a paper towel. I need to clean my uh, paintbrush to do the other side. Right? And I go, ew, it's all dirty. So I just put it inside of a paper towel. Look at me, you do it. I don't see your paper towel, where's your paper towel? And then I fold it over like this and pinch and boom, the paint out really hard. All clean. Maybe one more time. There, all powder came out. 
Nice. So who got a 3D effect? It's very orange to not very orange, running out of orange, disappear. And then my yellow is very yellow, not very yellow. By the time I get to his, the, the pupil of his eye, I ran out of yellow. I, and wait till it dries. That orange turns red when it dries, okay? So the people in the very back row, please intervene with the people in the back row. They painted it all orange with no red, okay? Now we're gonna do this side. Well, good news. Who thinks this one's gonna be a thousand times more easy? I know, you know why? Because you've already done it. So your brain is like, uh, I don't know what she's talking about. Now you do, now you understand it. So you're like, oh yeah, we're gonna outline it with white, fill it in with white, put the yellow and put the orange. We already did it. You have proof right there. Okay, so clean paintbrush. I cleaned it with a paper towel, no water, right? Cause that would drip and spill on the floor. Now I'm gonna get my white, where's my white? I'm going to stab my white. Stab! Oh, that's too much. Okay, that's being silly. Okay, there. And then, who needs, if you need to stand to get up in that corner, that's fine. But the whole eye is white, right? Like mine. So, I just go, oh yeah, land in the white part. Land, right? And then I sneak up, 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 up. Now one hair is touching. Now I can push. Look how smooth my line is. Who proved it was true last time? Oh, mine's wiggly. I'm gonna go back and straighten it. Oh, I went outside the line. That's okay, my next one will be better. Watch, I'm gonna get more white. You don't need me to tell you that we have to outline all, all three walls, right? You already know that. And I want, how thick of a white paint do I want? Do I want it thin and fuzzy? No. I want it thick and smooth. So now I go, all right. Smash. Oh, there's a lot of paint on my paintbrush. So watch me push my paint. Push one, staring at one hair. One hair of my paintbrush is squishing out a bead of paint. And I didn't wiggle. Oh, I ran out of paint. We'll see through right there. There, I fixed it. Okay, now I have to do the bottom line. Oh, and my paintbrush. Okay. Now I go, okay. Now I have to land inside there again. Smash. And then let one hair. Uh-oh, I have to paint from above. This is hard for me. Are you beating me? Did you paint it white already? You guys are so fast. Oh, my God. I'm trying to go as fast as I can. Okay. Now I'm going to do this bottom line. You know why? Because you already know what to do. Okay, now I'm going to go underneath there and go smash, and I'm staring at one hair. Oh, I ran out of paint. More paint. Smash. Okay, now i got to fill it in. So do I fill it in like this, just with one stripe at a time? No. I get a whole bunch of paint like it's peanut butter or frosting, and I use the side of my paintbrush and smooth it on. Oh, you know why? We're practicing from when we put the yellow on. Look at how buttery. Okay, thick and smooth. Side of my paper. Oh, yeah. We can use our finger to smooth it. I forgot. Who wants theirs the most smooth? Me, 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 me. Stop. I need more white. Okay, who's beating me? Okay, now I just want to see. Oh my God, you guys are so fast. Wait for me. Okay, I'm smoothing. Smooth. Okay, I get it all painted and it's all ratty and scribbly and I don't love it. Oh, oh, that's not how I want it. It's not smooth like an eyeball. So I'm gonna use my finger after I get it all wet with white and do it for smoothness. Oh, that it, and I'm doing it slow, up and down. Look at how it flattens all my paint perfect. That's definitely the texture of a smooth eyeball. If I let it be all furry from my paintbrush, the eyeball will look furry. That's the wrong texture, you know what I'm saying? 
I'm smoothing it. My, my finger's so much softer than a paintbrush. And I go outside the line sometimes, and I'm not really scared about that, because I'll fix it. Oh, look at it. I smoothed it. Who smoothed theirs? Can you feel it get smooth? After you get it all wet with white, right? Then you, not the tip of your finger. She will scratch the paint off because there's a bone right there on the end. No, it's this flat, cushy, bushy part. The mushy part. Like that. Smooth, smooth like that. Who did it? I know you did. Okay, now you already know. It's yellow. I'm gonna get two scoops of the, um, two stabs of yellow like I did last time because I wanna be the same. So I stab the yellow, my dirty paintbrush, I don't care. It already has white in it. But where does it go? It goes way back here. Everybody look, it's where does it go? In this far corner, I just wipe it off like a booger. Okay, okay, it's very yellow. Cause how many versions of yellow do I want? Three, dark yellow, medium yellow, ran out of yellow. Who's ready to do it? Wanna watch me? So I go, and what if I go outside the lines? So I'm gonna, I'm gonna fix it later. So I'm gonna go side of my paintbrush. Look at the tip of my paintbrush. I want you to see, scratches the paint right off. What happened to my painting? Oh yeah, side of my paintbrush. Okay, now I'm gonna start pushing it closer and closer to his eye. Up, down, up. Down, I'm running out of yellow, I'm running out of yellow, I'm running out of yellow. Uh-oh, I didn't make it all the, I need to get more yellow. I didn't make it all the way. I wanted to run it, maybe one more, po I'm gonna do it one more time. I'm gonna get yellow one more time and do it again. That was disappointing. Okay, it's very yellow, then not very yellow, not very yellow, not very yellow, running out of paint, running out of paint, disappearing, disappearing. I made it. That one was right. I didn't have enough. See, it depends on the poke of the amount of paint you get. Okay, but look at those ugly stripes. That's not, that looks like a zebra. I need to use my finger and smooth it so it's very yellow. Very yellow, smooth the yellow down. And I'm leaving the outside, I don't care, I'll fix it later. Oh, and I'm, oh, look at how smooth it is. And you can't see the stripes anymore. <gasps> so much better. And then how many versions of yellow do you have? Dark yellow, that's my first yellow. Medium yellow, when you start to run out. And then lemon yellow, like disappearing baby yellow, when I run out of yellow on purpose. Who thinks doing it with your fingers the best? Can I show you a trick? Can you hold on to your painting at the same time as you use your finger so you can balance better? Because the, pa the painting keeps moving. If you hold on to it while you paint, she'll behave. And then where do I, how do I make it smooth and super soft? How soft do you have to be? What if you push hard with your finger, what will happen? You'll wipe the paint off. Okay, who's ready for orange? Me, 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 me. Me too. Okay, I got yellow on my finger, so I'm gonna wipe it off on a napkin. Yep. And I don't care that I have yellow on my paintbrush. It'll just make a prettier orange. It'll look like fire. But I, I'm gonna have to get two scoops of orange because I want it to match this one. Remember I did it and had to go back and get more? It'll be true for up here too. So I stab my orange and I'm gonna do it the first time knowing I have to go twice. Okay. So, oh, okay. And there's all this other paint in my paintbrush. So it'll mix together once I, ooh. Ooh, I love it. There's yellow in my orange that really does look like a fire. <gasps> Who put it on softly with the side of your paintbrush? It's almost like you're painting on top of the other paint, very softly and gently. Look what happens if I use the tip of my paintbrush, watch. Oh, why does it keep coming off? You're holding it like a pencil. So I use the side of my paintbrush Remember the soft side like I did on my cheek? Oh, it smooths this down. There. 
Okay, now I'm gonna push it into my yellow. I'm gonna make yellowy orange. Who wants to see me do it? Cause there's a line right now and I hate it. So I'm gonna put orange in my yellow, orange in my yellow, and I'm gonna keep going and keep going and keep going. And I'm running out of orange. Uh oh, a giant glob came off. Must have been on the other side of my paintbrush. Oh wow, well. keep going. <laughs> it looks like fire, so I'm not gonna be mad. Oh, I ran out of orange. Exactly. Until I until my orange turns disappearing, I don't even stop. Oh. But look at those lines. How do I get rid of those ugly lines? I don't I'm not Did you have to go back and get two pokes of red? Anyone have to do that? Is it red enough? Do you want to do it again with the red? I totally support that. Now I'm going to use my finger and I start in the most red corner and I'm smoothing, 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 smoothing and the orange is disappearing and the orange completely disappeared. Nice! We have fire for eyes. Make sure teachers you're walking around. I have people that are painting yellow all over their painting. So please walk to the back of the room and because they have gone outside the lines and there's we have to be able to draw those and make sure we're walking around and looking for people who have who are misunderstanding. Okay. So now I'm gonna clean my paintbrush because ew. I need to just get this off. I just go, pinch, squeeze. Blah. Look, it looks like fire. Ooh. I'm going to pinch again. Squeeze it. And now I can put little paintbrush down. Please walk around, teachers, and look for the people who are painting over everything yellow and have misunderstood the assignment. Okay, now we're going to get this big paintbrush. Switch paintbrushes, she's all clean and soft, right? And then I'm gonna, I'm gonna, if I, if, well, let me show you on my painting. So if I smash hard with this paintbrush, look how big she is. What? That is gonna make a giant line. If I fold my paintbrush over, it, that is humongous. But can this paintbrush also be tiny? Sure. Just don't push so hard. Dash, dash, dash. Oh, it's little. If I don't push very hard. she. If I push hard, she opens all the way. If I push it soft, she's little, little. Okay, so we need two colors. What two colors do we need to make our scales? Remember I told you, I hinted. First we make them blue. Then we put a streak, a tiny little piece of purple that floats on top. We don't scrub them in because purple's really dark and the whole thing would turn dark. We need 3D, dark, medium, light, okay? So I go, okay, okay, okay. So uh, we can put the lids on, put the lid on the white, put the lid on the yellow, and put the lid on the orange because they will, won't dry out if we put the lids on. Because we only need two colors to do our scales. Where are they? Look at how dark purple is compared to my fun, bright uh, blue. So I need blue to lit. I can't paint over with, with this very dark purple or the whole painting will look black. So I need this blue to show and then a little bit of, little bit of purple for a decoration, Boop, right? So open these two, open your blue and put them somewhere really handy because we're gonna use both of them. And I want to show you. So at, around his eye, there are little, two little rows of tiny baby ones, and they touch each other. They do touch, okay? They're not scared of each other. They're scales. You know scales on a, a lizard, they touch. They overlap each other, right? So we're going to make two rows of little ones. But let's just do this tiny little row right here of little baby ones. So get your paintbrush, and, and we're just not gonna push very hard. So just stab your blue, just give it a stab, stab! Okay, poke, like that, poke. Blue and purple, poke. 
And you see that silver sharpie? We're gonna get, we're gonna paint right touching it. Cause that's where they go. So I'm gonna go right here and I'm just gonna make three of them. Way up in the corner, watch. They're just, it's just a dash. But look, I wanna show you. They start off as just a phone number straight dash, but look what ends up happening. They curve, in a, but that happens by accident. So don't try to curve them. Just by doing that with your paintbrush, they'll look round. I don't know, it's just because the paintbrush is round. Ready? So it looks like a dash to start. I just go one, oh, it's one fingerprint big. One, now you do it. And then another one, she touches the, go touch the very end of it and go one, oh. And then touch it, oh, you can turn your paintbrush over when you run out of paint. There's paint on the other side too, so you just curl your paintbrush. <gasps> Boop! Oh, that was a little bigger. I was trying to touch the silver Sharpie, but I missed. Okay, now we're going to put purple on it. So I just did three of them. Now, I want blue to live. So how much purple would it be? A ton, a ton, a bit. Everyone stop painting. We only made three. And then we pause. Okay, now I'm going to get purple. And, and there's blue on my paintbrush, and I don't care. And I just go... I got a tiny, tiny little baby, a baby, because I want to decorate my blue, but just a tiny bit, and it's going to make a blue and purple stripe. Everybody want, look up, watch. <gasps> Shweep. Oh, swipe, uh, swipe. <gasps> I just put a little decoration on it. I just scratched it a little bit with the purple. Oh, and, uh oh, I touched it twice. Who's more powerful, blue or the purple? It's actually the blue. Watch me ruin this one. Touch, 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 touch. What color did it become? It became blue again. I'm gonna fix it. I'm gonna put a tiny bit of purple on it because that was prettier. Okay. Swipe. All right. Prettier. Okay. Now I'm gonna clean my paintbrush because there's purple on it and I wanna go get my blue and I don't want my blue ruined. So can you get a paper towel and just squeeze out that little purple? Purple, bye. <gasps> Ooh, look what I made. Is that a blue fox? I don't know. Okay. Now I'm gonna, now I'm gonna make five of them. You ready? So now I'm gonna poke my blue and they're five dashes, ready? And they are single little, little dash, you know like the phone number dash, right? So now I'm gonna go one, two, three. Oh wait, look, it only made three and then I ran out of paint. Man, you have to get paint all the time. Okay, one, okay, I got one, two, three, four, five, if it runs out of paint, you gotta get more paint. It shouldn't be dry. Now I got five more. And they're touching. They're all touching. And they're little. Who did it? Are you beating me right now? Okay, can we decorate that with a little bit of purple, a little action? And my favorite is when they look like stripes. I'll show you. I mean, look at it. It will look like uh, stripes like little streaks and it's like the purple's running out oops I'm not holding it high enough and they make little stripes but I can't smush it in it'll just turn blue okay I'm gonna get a tiny poke of purple poke a little, a little poke of purple and very softly decorate them and when you run out of purple there's paint on the other side as soft as I can right in the belly of my blue swipe oh swipe oh swipe Super soft. And swipe. Oh, swipe. Oh, so good. And each one is different, like a real dragon. Sometimes it's a lot of purple. Sometimes it's, and how come we have to put so much blue paint? We have to cover up the black canvas. Now there's purple on my paintbrush, and I don't like it, so I clean it off. Pitch. Now let's do how many, let's finish the eyeball. Okay, so I go, all right, I'm touching the silver Sharpie, right? And I just go dash, 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 dash. Oh, I ran out of paint. I do not want see-through blue paint. Ugh, dash. Oh, I turned the corner. 
<laughs> now, who knows what's going to happen to those blue ones? We only did two sets of them already. Who already knows? But how much purple does it take? A lot? A teensy, tiny a bit. Okay, where's my purple? Oh. Mm -hmm. And I'm going to decorate each one. And I just give it a little swipe. And I don't scribble it in because it's just blue then. And you go swipe. Oh! Swipe. Oh! Swipe. Oh! Oh, I ran out of purple. Nothing happened. Mm. Please go around and make sure everybody is using a little glob of blue paint so that it is not see-through. I see a lot of black showing through so it's nice and thick like this. It's a thick amount and I make a glob and I make the glob into a dash. It should, you cannot see through the black. So please go around and demonstrate for those who don't know what I'm saying because I'm looking at them and I can see the black right through them like they ran out of paint 10 minutes ago and kept painting. Okay, now I'm going to get the purple and I'm going to decorate it. Woo! Okay, now who wants to do another row? Who thinks this row will be so much easier? But how many times do you have to stop and get blue paint so it's nice and thick? A lot. As soon as it's see-through, get more blue paint. Okay, so I get my blue paint and I go, all right. But I'm gonna, look, I'm gonna do another row underneath that one. But I, I'm gonna touch these, look. Oh, I touched them. I don't care. And then, uh-oh, should I keep this one? Look at this one, should I keep that? Uh, no, I can still see the black. I need way more blue. That is correct. Now I can't see through it, it's not a ghost. So I have to stop, I don't, this is not a pen. It only makes like one, two, three, and they already are see-through. It only makes three. Hey, I'm not touching. Look at, I left a black line between them. They're supposed to be touching a little bit. Mmm. Mmm, I'm not doing it good. Okay, now I do, okay, I got more blue. And I go one, two, three, and by the third one, it's already invisible. Right? More blue. Poke. Dash, dash. I turn the corner. I don't know why I always do that. Whatever. See? Uh-oh, now I have a whole, oh, look at, look at the see-through blue. What the, I had, what? I thought I did it thick. I can what? Look at that one. I can see the black through it. Stop it. Okay, I put more on it. Okay, now let's put the little bit of purple on it. How many times are you going to have to stop and get purple? A lot, because it only works like for three. But I get a ton, ton of bit of purple. And I just start decorating and I go, whoosh, 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 super soft. Whoosh, whoosh, whoosh. Oh. I ran out of purple. Time to get more. A little poke. I got sound effects. You know why? It feels more like play when I make the noise. But if I scribble it in and keep touching it, what color does it become? Blue. Very boring. Who is using their giant paintbrush? Everybody look at me. Are you using your giant paintbrush? Because we need big pieces of paint. Okay. Those, that tiny paintbrush would make a miniature itsy bitsy teensy tonsy, right? Okay, now how about we go and do the top row? Two rows on the top, right? So I get my blue and, and um, please walk around and see if people are going moving ahead. They are doing it incorrectly. If you paint the whole thing blue, it will not allow you to put purple on top because the blue will already be dry. Okay, so that would be incorrect. Now I'm gonna go about on the top eye, but I could be a little bigger. One, oh, look at me. Two, oh, three, oh, oh, I ran out. It only works for three. More blue. One, two, there's paint on the other side of my paintbrush. Three, oh, that's see-through. More blue. One, two, three. Okay, I made it. 
I beat you. I got done and you didn't. You're jealous of me now. Okay, now is that is that 3D? Does that look interesting? Having blue lines on there? No. When is it interesting? We add a little bit of purple for a little action. So I get the purple. Mm. Oh my god. Here I go. Here I go. Ooh, ooh, that wasn't very good. Let me try that. I only got it on half of it. Look, that's bad. Let me stretch it. Okay. And then whoosh. Then whoosh. Okay, I'm out of I'm out of purple paint. Let me see if there's paint on the other side of my paintbrush. No! I need more purple. Ooh, that one's gonna be very purple. How interesting. Oh. That one's my favorite. Look at the stripes I got on it. I didn't make I I that's neat. I think that's my favorite. I don't know. They look like scales. That's pretty fun. Whoosh, whoosh, whoosh. Oh, I beat you. I totally beat you. Okay, no, I didn't. Okay, wait. Um, you know what I don't like? I don't like the black line I have in between these. Can I just put a few more in between? Maybe uh, in between my rows, like one there. Just... They're supposed to be touching. I'm going to add a few more there and then put some purple on it. They're supposed to be touching. I just put some extra ones, you know, there because it was too black. Put some extra ones in that middle row where they're not touching. I'm talking to you. Okay. Now, how about the row above this? How much you want to bet you're going to end up with a black line? That's okay. We know we can add a few more. Okay, so now I'm going to get blue stab. Get a huge stab of blue. And now I go, okay, they're nice and big. Dash, dash, dash. Okay, only worked for three. Stab my blue paint. Dash, dash, dash. Oh, I ran out. Okay, more. Dash, dash. Oh, look it. I didn't make them touch. Look, you guys. Now there's a black line between them. Remember how I can add a few extra like this? Everybody pause and look up. I could just put a few extra in there, like baby ones. There. It looks like I sewed them together. There. Okay. Because I don't want a black line. Okay, now I get to decorate them with purple. <gasps> look how fast I'm doing it. Like I'm sassy. And I just go, <gasps> so pretty. You beat me. I'm looking at the class through the camera. What? And and did you put a few extras in between sometimes? Where the oh, I didn't purple them. You're right. Thank you for making me look. They would need a little bit. So they didn't have any purple of their own. Okay, the little in-between row that I put because, you know. Okay, now we're going to make this. What does this represent? <clears throat> those are like those spikes that are attached to their eye and go whoosh. And those are those, those spikes on the dragon. Right? So they're going to represent. So I go, Ugh. okay, so I'm going to put this one first. See, it's at the front of her eye and I push backwards. So who's going to stand for this part? If it's too tall for you, just stand up on the bench, you know, in front of the bench. And I'm going to, I'm going to get my, my purple. Can everybody pause and look up? Watch me. Ready? So here's the corner of the eye. I'm going to point this line all the way back to the middle of the painting and push it back like this. Everybody watch. I touch the front of the eye and go whoosh. Okay, you ready? I got a lot of blue paint. Watch me. Here I go. Don't look away. Don't look away. Watch. I smash my paintbrush. Whoosh. Oh. Now you do it. 
Do you guys know the word um, parallel? It's a third grade word where lines are next to each other but don't cross. Parallel. We're going to make all the lines parallel to this. You ready? Watch this. I get another glob of blue. And I'm going to touch it and go underneath this one. Oh, look at me run out of paint. Oh my God, this is a big line. But you know what? I have paint on the other side of my paintbrush. I could push down and smash it. Yes. I can smash. Look how hard I can smash my paintbrush. And it makes the line huge. Okay, more blue. Now I'm going to go parallel to that one. I land on the eyelid. Smash! And push. Oh, I ran out of paint again. I got paint on the other side of my paintbrush. Smush, smash, smush, smash. Look at they're going backwards. Like that. Okay, now I keep going. Now I'm pointing at the corner. Neat. Oh, I missed the corner. Look what I did. I don't care. And I get more blue, stab the blue, and go swoosh. Oh, smoosh, smash, smoosh, smash, smoosh, smash. And I don't care because I'm using a lot of paint and it's super thick. And then I'm going to do it again. Swoosh, wash. Uh-oh, they're getting smaller. They're falling down the hole and getting smaller. I'm going down the hole. Wee, hee, hee. Wee, 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 wee. Okay, it fell down the hole and got smaller every time. And I just get more paint. There's paint on both sides of your paintbrush. Smushy, smashy, smushy, smashy. Push and shove, push and shove. Okay, what happens in this corner then? Just stack them on top of each other. Smush, smash. Oh yeah. Well, um, I'm finished, but I do not love mine. What is those blue things missing? Aren't they missing purple decoration? I need to put some purple something something. Okay, how much purple? I don't even know. Uh, Cause these are gigantic lines. I'm gonna have to guess at how much purple I need. So I poke my purple and I'm just gonna swipe the very first one, the big long one. Swipe, oh, I like it. I guessed really good. I put a little shadow on it. Okay, let me try another one. Swipe. Okay. I like that one too. And then swipe. All right. And I give it permission to run out where it's dark in some place. Oh, I touched it twice. I didn't mean to touch it twice. It'll just turn blue. Okay. Ugh. I was playing with it. Okay. And then I go swipe. Ooh. And then swipe. Look at, look at the neat texture I'm getting. More purple, swipe. Oh my gosh, I just dropped the purple on the floor. It fell off the table. Now I'm going to put the purple back in my cup. I hope that doesn't happen to you. <laughs> I knocked it off the table like a spaz. Okay. I was being silly. Okay, more purple. And then swipe it. Oh. I like that. Okay, and then swipe. Oh, no more purples coming off. Do it again. Swipe. Just a decoration. Just a little something. A little 3D. Okay, now I can look at each one. Oh, I forgot that corner. They didn't get no purple. Oops. What did, I forgot those. Silly. Okay, swipe with the purple. Very nice. Swipe with the purple. Hey, it's prettier with the purple. What do you guys think? Look at, I'm going to back up and look at it. So tell me about 3D. How many color values do you need for 3D? Three. So purple's my darkest. Purple and blue mixed together is medium. And blue by herself is the lightest. All three should show in each little scale. If you rub them together, what do you get? Medium. Nobody loves that. Okay, so now I can do the bottom row. So everybody look. There's my original. What do you think is going to happen? 
bigger, bigger uh, slashes, right? Bigger scales. But I just go and just do one row at a time. How come? Because if the blue dries, the purple won't make the pretty. It won't make the pretty stripes, right? And then, ooh, ooh, you remember, I can look at this one. I went back and I had to put some extra pieces because I had lots of black showing. There's an extra. Don't forget you can do that when you went, oh my gosh, I have too much black showing. Just put some extra scales. They don't know the difference. Okay, so I'm gonna, I'm just gonna hold my blue cup because I don't like it having it behind my table over there. And I stab my paint. Okay, here I go. It's a big stripe. Look at, it's like four, fi four fingers big. You wanna see? Look, I'll hold it closer. What? This is gonna go way faster than those baby ones. Way faster. Okay, so I go one, two, and I turn my paintbrush over. There's paint on the other side. Oh, they're not touching. Scales touch. How come I didn't make them touching? Did I forget? Let me try again. So they okay. All right, I did. I fixed it. Okay, now I get more blue. One, two. Okay, I, I'm already out of paint. It only, because they're bigger, I can only make two. Mm -hmm. That's right. Okay, boom, two, two. And then, and then, now that I made a row, should I move on and make another row? No, I should not. How come? She needs her purple. She needs decoration. Okay, now I'm gonna get my own purple. And I just go, and swipe. Oh, that's true, I missed. Try again, swipe. Okay, now we're talking. Ooh, ooh, okay. Ooh, that one was too much purple. Okay, now I can do another row. And these are parallel. Do you see how they're all gonna look like it's smiling like this? Because we're parallel to the eye. A next to the eye without crossing it. So they look like, um, Smiles of dashes. Okay, another row. Who's beating me? Look at you people who beat me. Did you decorate them all? Did you go back and put extra ones where it's too much black showing? You better. It looks better. Okay, I'm just saying, you speedy Gonzaleses over there. Okay, next one. Ooh. Okay, another one. Oh. Okay, wait. Look how fast I did that one. How come that was so fast? Because I totally know how to do this now. My brain's like, yeah, I know how to do this lady. So boring. Now I get to decorate it with purple. So at first, how's your brain at first when you try to do something? Your brain's like, what? This is so, I don't understand what she is saying. What? And then you go, oh, I get it. And then you go, oh, this is easy. That's what the human brain does. Too bad for you. You get mad first and frustrated. Then you understand it. And then it's easy. Oh, well. Right? Be glad you don't live on another planet where it's weirder. Okay. Now I get another. Oh, here I go. Another row underneath this. Dash. Dash. Oh, yeah. I can only make two at a time. Because they're so much bigger. One. Two. Oh. Was see through. I had to touch it twice. Uh oh, am I having too much black showing? Hmm. Look at my spaces. Can I put a few extra in there? Look at that big hole right there, right there, and right there. I'm gonna put a. I'm gonna put one there. I don't like that. I don't. I don't like this right there. And some. In, some in between. There. Okay. Less black. Less, less black. Okay. Now I get to put purple on them. <gasps> Decoration time. Wait, more purple. I ran out. Okay, more purple. Wait, it's stuck. Purple. Who thinks this is coming out better than you thought it would? Remember, all your scales must touch. It takes a long time, but it looks way better. 
Who cares that it takes a long time? Would you rather be doing math right now? Let it take as much time as it takes, right? Okay, I think I only have like three rows to go. I'm gonna beat you. I'm totally beating you. Okay, more purple. I mean, more blue. Oh, okay, more blue. Oh, they're not even touching now. Look at how lazy I am. I started going faster. Lazy. In fact, I'm gonna finish my blue, blue, blue. I can go back and put purple now. I trust myself. But if, I definitely feel like I need to put some, um, um, at, look at this black spaces. I don't, I don't, can you see it, what I'm talking about? I don't like them. I'm gonna put a baby one there, baby one there, baby one, baby, baby one there. Just to break up that black, because it literally looks like a line. Ugh. Okay, now I can put purple on all of them. So pretty! Okay, purple it. I'm gonna just hold my cup of purple because it will go faster. You are not done. You guys beat me. How are you guys so fast? Did you decorate each one with purple so it has 3D and it has a little decoration to it? No. -uh. You cannot be as faster than me. I'm supposed to be the expert, not you. Ooh, I'm jealous. Oh yeah, that one. Okay. Oh, I forgot that little baby ones need some purple too. Baby one. No, there's another baby one that wanted purple. Purple to you. Good job. Who need, raise your hand if you need more time to make your scales. Raise your hand. Okay, and then if you're not finished, an adult can sit with you and help you finish your scales. It's completely fair. What if, if you're very little, what if a adult made the blue ones and you decorated them? I'm just saying, or go faster. Okay, go. The rest of us are resting. Because what do we have left? I want to show you. Look at how much better it looks when we smooth the eyeball and get rid of all the ratty on the top and on the bottom and make a black eyelid. I oh, know. But we have to wait, give everyone permission. Adults are walking around seeing who needs support. Who would like a little extra something, something support and, and so you can go in you and like, wait, what? I don't even get it. I need help. And that's totally fair. And we put the blue and the purple. Okay, now I can get itty bitty baby paintbrush. Remember I told you that these are expensive fancy paintbrushes because they are. And this is actually the wholesale price. This one's $8 and this one's 5 Okay, so do not throw these away, school. Wash them, and you can soak them. Look, they, they won't, the, the wood won't split if you've ever played with paintbrushes. And you can rinse them. I put them in the wash machine, but a, you know, a dedicated wash machine if you guys wash rags. And, and they will come clean and you just smooth them again. Okay, so anyway, um, now we're gonna use our tiny, tiny paintbrush and we need our blick. Can you find blick? Black. Look how deep it looks. Looks like a black hole on the camera. Ooh, okay. And I would like my eyelid to be very smooth. Who wants a furry eyelid? Nobody, because it's a it's a dragon, which is related to a snake, right? So remember that outlining trick where we get a whole bunch of paint and go boop and then push our paint perfectly smooth, right? That is how we're gonna, we're gonna get rid of all, look at these ugly things. All I have to do is put my paint perfectly straight black over that and get rid of them. You wanna see me do it? But go back to a little paintbrush, baby paintbrush, right? The big one is too humongous. She can't do this, she'll make a mess. Okay, so I get this one, and it's, a, oh, who thinks it's stiff? Just bounce it on your hand, she'll wake up. 
wake up. There, she was a little stiff. Okay, okay. Now I'm gonna, where's my blade? I'm gonna stab my black really hard. <laughs> Why? Because, remember the more paint, the smoother the line? Remember that? Watch me, every watch, watch me do it first. Okay, here I go. Just for the remembering. I know you know how, because you already proved it, but I just want to show you. So, I'm going to go above where I want to erase, and I just go smash. All right. And I'm going to cut off all of these ugly, icky, poopy, fuzzy parts. Uh-oh. There's paint on the other side of my paintbrush, though. So, I turn it over and go smash. Oh, look what I did. And now I just get rid of the rest of them. Blip, blip, blip. Oh, look how smooth I made it. Did I wiggle? No. No, I did not. How come? Because that would make a furry eye like. It does have a little wobble. Look at mine. Is that perfectly straight? No, because I'm human. It's your parents' fault because they're human. But you, it is it because you're made out of blood and bones, so you can't do perfectly straight without a ruler. But you don't. It's mostly smooth. Oh, how about this line? I don't like that silver sharpie showing either. No. Goodbye. I'm going to get rid of it. Erase. Okay. <laughs> right? Oh, wait, 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 wait. I have to do the other side. And I'm, what am I doing? I'm putting the eyelid back. Black. Look, let me show you. I'm putting the eyelid black and I'm cutting off the tops of the, all the oopsies that I made. Okay. Now I'm going to do this one and I'm in the black above the black smash. Push. It has to be thick black or it won't make a smooth line. Who remembers that from the white? The thicker the paint, the smoother the line. We don't have to paint the whole eyelid. It's already black. Just use the black to fix the, um, you know, hey, like I outlined my eye. I outlined my eye like a dragon. It's actually like a cat, right? Ooh, look at the ugly bottom. See? Look it up, and I'm a teacher, and I should not go outside the lines. But I already knew that it was going to be okay, because we were going to do this part. So I stabbed my black, so I can get a whole bunch of black on my paintbrush, so it will be smooth. I'm going to land under the eye, th the eye pupil, and go push. And then smooth it again, smooth, smooth. Goodbye, all you uglies. Oh, <gasps> I did it. Look how much better the eye looks once you smooth it. It looks like fire. Doesn't that look good? I know. And not scribbly. The scribbly is when you're just covering stuff up. Nobody cares, right? That line is super thick and super smooth. Okay, now I get the black. So I have one more left. Look it. I only have one, and I'm watching me smash it. I'm a bulldozer, and I push my paint uphill. Smash cut off all the uglies pull perfectly smooth smooth I had to do that three times it would not smooth okay there you know what else I hate uh this sharpie look at how ugly that is this sharpie on you know by her eye eyelid up there let's just get some black paint and get rid of it like this bye this could be ratty because it's scales, but goodbye, goodbye ugly sharpie, goodbye, I don't want to look at you, ooh, I'm bullying the sharpie, I'm going to get suspended, okay, I won't be rude, I won't be mean to the sharpie, All right, thank you sharpie, now you can go, how's that, is that better, thank you sharpie, bye bye, oh, that's so much kinder, okay, oh, Oh, and I can see Sharpie down there. I'm going to give it a little black wiggle down there. Goodbye. Goodbye. Okay. G goodbye. Oh, I, look at what I did. I went all the way into my scales. Because I, I need to set mine down on the easel. This is hard for me. I just messed up. Okay. Now I can do it. Holding it makes my hand move more. Okay. Bye, Sharpie. Bye. Oh, that was me. Thank you, Sharpie. Goodbye. Okay. Do you love it? Oh, we're not done. 
could we fix his little pupil a little bit? Look how I got paint in the cat eye pupil thing. Um, you know, cats and, and snakes have long slits for eyes and theirs open like this, right? Not like ours. I'm scared I'm gonna ruin my, my eye slit. But I painted over it, so I kinda have to. But look how it looks. It's tilted, right? And it comes to a point at the bottom. So can I give you a, a secret? Everybody pause and look up. Everybody pause what you're doing and watch what I'm doing. Every, watch, I'm gonna get black. I just wanna show you. I'm gonna paint down so I can come to a point on the bottom. Okay, I wanna show you. I gotta make mine bigger. I kinda painted over it. So I'm gonna go on top of it by, I gotta cover up some of the white and make it smooth again. There, and come to a point. Oh, I rounded it off. I was trying not to do that. Okay, let me be slower. Su super slow point. Oh, okay, I did it. <laughs> it was, I was pushing too hard on my paintbrush. Right, and I could do this side and make it very smooth. I'm also making it a little bit bigger by putting some of the black on top of the white. Oh, I did it! That was such a good smooth line. I did it really good that time. I didn't pick up my paintbrush. It was very smooth. I don't have to paint in his whole eye thing because it's already black. I just wanted to fix the edges, you know, because it was too tiny. And teachers, you can go around and help them with proportion because I don't think they see how big it's supposed to be. And it goes like an ice cream cone, big at the top, small at the bottom. So go around and help maybe just draw the outline for them so they can see it, maybe. Not everybody. Just some people have this itty bitty little slit left. So maybe help them make it a little better, a bit, you know, so it's ice cream cone like. Now look at mine. What does my eye have that your eye doesn't have? It has this little white shine on the black part. Look at my eye, look at my eye. Everybody look, everybody pause and look up. Look at my eye, right? Don't I have a little white shiny thing on my black? Where does the white shiny thing come from? The light. So everything in this planet has round, wet eyes. So we're gonna put that little tiny shine on there, but it's gonna be like a dash. But everybody look, look at our paint brushes. They're filthy. How are we gonna put white on there? If we get white with our paint brushes, it'll turn dirty and gray, right? What if we use the little one, but use the stick, like a teeny tiny fingerprint? Watch this. You guys wanna see something awesome? I'm just, it's gonna look like a scratch because look at, it's like a little shimmer shine, little nothing because I, it just needs to be a little scratch, right? So I go, okay, I almost touched my eye just now. That would have been gross, okay? But look, I'm using my stick because my stick is clean. Turn your paintbrush upside down. Do not accidentally use this thing. That'll make a disgusting mess. So stick and I go poke, ooh, ooh. <laughs> right, watch. And it's on this side of the eye, and it's a big, long string, and it should look nice and ratty. Not perfect. Watch me, everybody pause and look up. Don't look away. Wait, don't, don't you, look, look. Watch me first. Okay, here I go. Scratch. And it skips all by its neato self. Because it's just a stick. It won't make a smooth line. That is so neat. And yours will be totally weird, different than mine. Because however you paint you get, and you just make this weird scratch, it's not painted on. Do not use your paintbrush. Incorrect. That, this is going to make gray. That's disgusting. Use the stick and scratch a piece of white on there. Who thinks you did a good job? Do you love it? Look at your eye now. Remember when we did the blurry thing and you were like, no, this lady doesn't know what she's talking about. Mine looks terrible. And then we just fix the eyelid and you're like, what? That looks like fire. I did such a good, okay. Now how about your blue and your purple drawing? Does the blue look brighter and the purple look darker? Right?
right? Who has too much black showing? You could always add a few extra baby um, scales because there shouldn't be like black holes in the middle of his face, right? And then, who loves it? Raise your hand if you like it. I know, so good. Are you guys, are, uh, teachers, are you gonna collect the paintbrushes and use them for another time so the school has a set of beautiful paintbrushes? Hoping that's true. I, it's just a pain in the butt to clean them, but awesome because they're the, my very best paintbrushes. Okay, good job, you guys. You did a wonderful job.